holding right for me. Storm Dennis would appear to have blown through for the moment. Jim Hamilton has folded his way into the commentary box here, and Sean Holly will almost in his lap. Welcome, gentlemen, and it's uh, Ready, good to notice that the well for for now Ready, anyway the hands. rain has somewhat uh, somewhat abated. Well, you mentioned Dennis there as well. I didn't know who he was. He's a little <laughs> They've all got names now. Well, he's a menacing threat, that's for sure. There's Storm Dennis. Ball dropping on the, the halfway line. Nick Haining. Now that good hands needed here. Duhan van der Merve. Three tries against the Scarlets up at Murrayfield. And he's got the first for the visitors. The danger man. On the score sheet after just six minutes of play here at Parker Scarlet. Edinburgh take the lead. So Dan Jones celebrated 100 Pro 14 games for the Scarlets recently. Closing in for on 500 points for the side and the scrapes that one in just inside the far upright. So Scarlets have their first points of the match. 11 minutes on the clock. So Dan Jones for the second time of asking, eyes the posts, slotted his first attempt from uh, very close to where he's uh, set up and teed up this one, and again it goes the same way, and the same result, the Scarlets have doubled their tally, they're up to six points. Yeah, it's good to have uh, a general of the calibre of John Barkley in your ranks. Oh, the ball bobbles, but it's there again for Duan van der Berber. it's going to be a second try for Edinburgh. Claimed by Matt Scott, uh, what a moment to score, a second to try to take you further into the lead and just within uh, sight and sound of the half-time whistle. Well, we're looking at it, we're into that floodlight, just to the left of where Dan Jones is kicking and it looks horrendous. Where, where is he aiming this? Ryan Combia. Just keeps a steady hand on the tiller. Can Dan Jones close the gap? You can never tell with this wind, but he strikes it. Picked up by Rob Evans, Taylor Davis, Sebastian Kartgala, and Edinburgh in the form of Nick Haining, who set it all up in the first half with a lovely floated pass out, which found Duhan van der Merwe, who claimed his score after just some six minutes of play. Frank Murphy blows the final whistle. A valiant effort here from Edinburgh. Defensive effort for the greater part. I've seen them take the spoils here at Parker Scarlet once again. Thanks, guys.